Hello people of the internet, welcome or welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about books. So basically, just books. But yeah, basically on my channel over the past few months, I have been sharing some of the books that I've been reading and a lot of you have been asking for like my recommendations or my reviews on them and I just never gave that to you guys. So today's the day that I'm finally doing that. So um, yeah, if you like books, Hopefully you'll like this video. Now it's probably gonna be a pretty long video, so if you wanna grab a snack or some tea and just get comfortable, feel free to pause this video and go ahead and do that. I myself have a nice chai latte with me, which is very delicious. Now I have to say I am not the best at reviewing books. I feel like it's bad to preface my video this way, but I just want to give you guys a warning, like this is new to me. I am basically going to go over the books I've read over the past couple of months, like mainly the ones that I showed on my channel, and hopefully this can be interesting, I don't know. I mean, a few of you guys asked for this, so like I hope I can provide what you guys asked for. <laughs> but yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so first I'm going to talk about the books that I have read in the past couple of months, and because I am not that good at summarizing a book's plot. I'm going to have editing me just insert like summaries for each of these books. Um, and I'm probably going to have like links down below to each book and just organize this video properly so it's like easy to navigate. That being said, the first book I wanted to talk about is Normal People by Sally Rooney. I read this a while ago. I read it like last summer, I think. Nonetheless, here's the summary. <clears throat> The novel follows the complex friendship and relationship between two teenagers, Connell and Marianne, who both attend the same secondary school and later both go to Trinity College in Dublin. The pair weave in and out of each other's lives across their university years, developing an intense bond that brings to light the traumas and insecurities that make them both who they are. Okay, now that you know what the story is about, here are my thoughts. <laughs> Obviously, Normal People is a very popular book. They've even made a TV show about it, which I have yet to watch. And I think that, honestly, the fact that it's like so popular sh speaks for itself. I mean, it's a very good book. I loved that book so much. I felt like it was such a page turner. And it's kind of interesting because the story is very, quote unquote, boring. Like, it's just following normal people's lives. But I think the main focus is on the characters' relationships um and sort of like their identity and we see them like over time evolve so yeah i was like really invested in the characters and i got attached to them really quickly even though sally rooney's style of writing is pretty detached and like i don't know she kind of describes things as they are but i feel like her writing does that perfectly and it's just very captivating in that way i'm sure some people could find that like boring or uninteresting or like slow paced but i personally even though like there wasn't a lot of action i personally was like really invested and i definitely want to read more of her books i know she has conversations with friends and beautiful world where are you which just came out and i have yet to read those but they are on my to be read next i'm going to be talking about a good girl sketch murder which touches upon the genres of like ya mystery crime novel <laughs> um which are like my favorites honestly Teenagers solving a crime or slash like mystery. That's my kind of book and this book is exactly that. Here's the summary The case is closed. Five years ago, schoolgirl Andy Bell was murdered by Sal Singh. The police know he did it. Everybody in town knows he did it But having grown up in the same small town that was consumed by the murder Pippa Fitzamobi isn't so sure. When she chooses the case as a topic for her final year project, she starts to uncover secrets that someone in town desperately wants to stay hidden. Um, so what I liked about it, for me personally, it was very unexpected. I know maybe a few people were able to like guess where the story was going, but I personally, I don't know. I feel like <laughs> everyone's normal reaction when reading like a mystery novel is to try to guess what's gonna happen, but I just, don't necessarily like try to solve the mystery i just see where it goes <laughs> so i didn't expect anything and i also really like the format of the book because basically since you're following this girl who's like doing a project on how she's solving a crime but then it's also like just a regular book and not necessarily just like diary entries you get a mix of like audio recordings and diary entries and just normal book narration and i really like that format i thought it was very like engaging and i just I don't know, I like that about it. And also the characters 
I really like them. Obviously some of them, like sometimes they do st stupid things. They put themselves in such dangerous situations and you're like, hello? <laughs> like, do you not know about safety? But um, then again, that's what makes it interesting because like then your heart is racing and you just, you know, you're invested. Next, I'm gonna talk about One of Us is Lying, which again is a popular book talk book. <laughs> um, I feel like a lot of people have read that, but understandably because i personally really enjoyed it so basically it's about these teenagers that get placed in detention one day and one of the kids ends up choking and dying from a peanut allergy so somebody murdered him and now obviously the i think there are four yeah the four kids in the detention room are the like four main suspects and it follows each of their point of view as they like sort of deal with this investigation and try to figure out who is guilty but it also just gets more and more mysterious and twisted as you try to like discover what really happened and there's also like a little bit of romance which is always a plus in my book so i personally really like this one i feel like i read it also like pretty quickly maybe in a week or two which for me is quite quick i mean i know some people read like a book a day but i'm not there yet <laughs> i really like how it's told with like throughout multiple points of view personally that's one of like my favorite sort of like storytelling devices. I just think it's super interesting to follow like every character's thought and it sort of like switches things up a little bit. And I know some people guess the ending. Personally, I sort of saw it coming, but I, again, I didn't really like try to guess it. And then there's also the sequel, which is One of Us is Next. And I actually think I preferred that one better. You know how in the first one you follow like the main four teenagers, but then in the second book, you, it's not like the same characters anymore, it's just the same setting and once again, there's a mystery to solve. I think the author, Karen McManus, did a really good job at like transitioning from one story into another without like repeating herself. I felt like there was more suspense and tension in the second one because, well, I don't want to give too much away, but it's just, in my opinion, more like <laughs> suspense full suspenseful that is is that a word i also read two of us is next which is another not two of us is next two can keep a secret i'm getting all these books confused <laughs> two can keep a secret is by the same author karen mcmanus but it's set in a completely different universe it is once again following the whole like narrative of teenagers involved in the mystery like in a small rural town insert the summary here <laughs> Echo Ridge is small town America. Ellery's never been there, but she's heard all about it. Her aunt went missing there at age 17, and only five years ago, a homecoming queen put the town on the map when she was killed. Now, Ellery has to move there to live with a grandmother she barely knows. The town is picture perfect, but it's hiding secrets. And before school even begins for Ellery, someone's already declared open season on homecoming, promising to make it as dangerous as it was five years ago. Then, almost as if to prove it, another girl goes missing. As for my review of Two Can Keep a Secret, I mean, I have read this like a while ago, so it's hard to remember like everything that happened, but I just didn't feel like it was like that fast paced. I do remember though, one thing that I loved about that book is that it went from zero to a hundred really quickly when it gets to like the ending and the climax. So I would say like if you have started reading this book, it's worth continuing to read because of the ending i did not expect the ending at all uh i don't want to spoil anything but i remember it lasts like just a few pages but my heart was beating out of my chest i was like so stressed um obviously you know everything's gonna end well well actually you don't know that's what's stressful in this one but um just everything was like so fast paced and that was like brilliant i love me a good like tense climax and I felt like I was actually ready to throw the book out the window. I was so stressed. <laughs> well, actually the whole book is like very good, but just for that part specifically, I would recommend um, reading this. And especially if you liked One of Us is Lying and One of Us is Next, like you're probably gonna like this one as well. Now we're getting into the books I've read over the summer. So they're a little bit more fresh in my memory. Um, so I'm gonna start with Nine Perfect Strangers by Leanne Moriarty. I read this like not too long ago and I honestly loved it. Here is the summary. Could 10 days at a health resort really change you forever? These nine perfect strangers are about to find out. 
Nine people gather at a remote health resort. Amidst all of the luxury and pampering, the mindfulness and meditation, they know these 10 days might involve some real work, but none of them could imagine just how challenging the next 10 days are going to be. Should these strangers put aside their doubts and immerse themselves in everything Tranquillum House has to offer, or should they run while they still can? Okay, so for this book, honestly, I have to say I found the whole premise of the book um, very, very captivating. I also really liked the whole universe of, well, not universe, but idea or setting of like a well-being resort. I just found that like really interesting how it was sort of like a closed space. And once again, multiple points of view, which your girl loves. <laughs> um, I will say it was kind of hard to keep track of every single one of the characters at first because there are a lot of them. I kept going back to that book mainly because I feel like what the author does really well is she leaves like the chapters off on like little cliffhangers at the end of each chapter where you're like, oh my god, what's gonna happen next? I will say I did find it a little slow paced at first, but I feel like once everything's established after like a few pages maybe like a hundred <laughs> pages the action just keeps going and like doesn't stop i swear i was like so baffled when i read like the ending um i don't know there's just like so much to dissect this felt like it was genius it was very clever um and i think that the author leanne moriarty is very clever in her writing i would highly recommend this book i know they turned it into a TV series and it's actually really funny because when I was reading the book I thought this would make such a good series like it feel like the format is perfect there's like little cliffhangers that could end each episode and it would be really interesting I haven't seen the show but I definitely have to <laughs> next we're going to talk about red white and royal blue which I read really not that long ago first son Alex Clareman Diaz is the closest thing to prince this side of the Atlantic with his intrepid sister and the vice president's genius granddaughter, they're the White House trio, a beautiful millennial marketing strategy for his mother, President Ellen Claremont. International socialite duties do have downsides, namely when photos of a confrontation with his longtime nemesis, Prince Harry, at a royal wedding leak to the tabloids and threaten American-British relations. The plan for damage control? Staging a fake friendship between the first son and the prince. One of the things that I liked the most about it was the humor and I didn't expect this to be like a funny book at all. I just, I don't know. I didn't really expect much when it came to that book, but I couldn't stop myself from laughing. I felt like the characters were put in such funny situations that I couldn't help, but like, I, sometimes I literally couldn't breathe because I was <laughs> laughing so much. I will say this book was like marketed as enemies to lovers. I feel like a lot of people on social media say like, Oh yeah, this is enemies to lovers. When it's actually really not, I just I don't see it. <laughs> Obviously, the whole like political part isn't realistic at all. I have to say there are a lot of like loopholes that in real life could never happen. For example, the teenagers just like sneaking out past the social service, not social service, <laughs> past the secret service. Like that's just not gonna happen but then again it's fiction like you're not reading it to read about real life you're reading it to escape reality you know <laughs> and the dialogue is just like everything i think that's like my favorite part um about it <laughs> it's just so funny would read this again and recommend it to like everyone who likes easy reads and romance sort of books i definitely think book talk gave me a good recommendation with this one if you've read any of the books that I mentioned or if you plan on reading them, please let me know in the comments. I would love for the comment section to become a little book club where everyone can interact and give their opinions and give recommendations. Um, speaking of which, if you have any recommendations for me, let me know. I always like add them to my to be read list and if they're available in my library, I might check them out. You guys sort of like get an idea of what books and genres I'm into from this video, but I'm open to anything, especially if you have any like fantasy suggestions that you swear by. I feel like I could get into that genre. I just haven't found the right book yet. That being said, I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.